trainer Tara Nicholas. I'm so excited to be here. So this is Trainer of the Month Club with Well and Good. And for today, we have a lower body stability and coordination workout. So let's just jump right in, all right? For our first skill, we have sumo squat with rotation. Nice wide stance, drop down, you open, you drop down, you open, and I'm really anchoring my hand against my thigh, and then I'll stand up. All right, come on, come on down and join me. Here we go. You drop it down, you open, you drop it down, you open, drop it back down, reset. Good, drop it down. Open, good. Open, drop it down, reset. Last time, down, open. Ooh, my hips like it. I'm getting a little snap, crackle, pop. Good, drop it down, stand up. You rest, eyes on me. Now, keep this stance, but now parallel the feet. Hands on your hips, press your pelvis back, and bend one knee at a time. Take a moment to notice the fixed feet lateral lunge. One leg is straight at the time. You stand up, other side, one leg is straight at a time. Okay, join me. Three, two, one. You bring it back. Good. And something that can really help is actually bring your palms up and allow them to kind of get squished between your pelvis and your thigh. We call that a hand sandwich. I'm doing this because I want you to start to learn what a hinge position is, whether you know it or not. It's just nice to check in. For a lot of us, it feels like we stick our butt out. That's right, rather than kind of falling forward. Good. All right, let that go. Next thing, hinge position, but with different feet, different stance. From here, you're gonna start with your feet right under your pelvis, and then your toes are gonna come in line with your heel. From here, it's the same thing. You drive your pelvis back. You stand, good. Big inhale as you come down and exhale. My standing leg is bent and I have barely any weight in those back toes. Good. You come down and stand and let it go. Other side, same thing. So set yourself up, toe in line with the heel, drive your pelvis back, micro bend in that standing leg as you come down and up. Go ahead and join me if you haven't already. The next piece of the puzzle I want to bring to your awareness is you want to feel like you're driving down into your standing leg. Right now my standing leg is my right leg and I feel like I'm driving my big toe in particular into the floor. For a lot of us our toes kind of dance around and you want to be aware of what your big toe is doing because it creates a lot of stability, not just that you don't fall over, but also creates stability up the entire inside of the leg, your knees, your hips, everything. And time, let that go. Last drill of our warm up is just going to be reverse lunges, hands behind your head once again. Just back, reset, back, reset. Go ahead and join me. Inhale down, exhale up, inhale down, exhale up, good, down. Nice and simple. Check in at the bottom that your shoulders are right over your pelvis, that you're not kind of letting your booty out. I do that sometimes, I know, even after all these years, I still catch myself doing strange things. Three, two, one, awesome. Come into a fake jump rope recovery. Stay here while I explain to you what's next. So we're gonna ease our way into stability and coordination by adding a little unilateral training, which means we're focusing on one leg at a time. Our first drill is gonna be a squat so we can just kind of get our bearings with two feet on the floor. And it's just gonna be like this. You just squat to toes or squat to stand. If you took my other workout where we're doing a sumo squat, that's different. I do want your feet a little closer to parallel. So you squat to stand, join me. Three, two, one, good. 30 seconds here. You're either coming to flat feet or you're going for it and coming to toes. Mm -hmm. You get to decide. Good. After this squat, we'll be focusing on our hinge. But for now, enjoy both feet on the ground. You have a lot more support. And you're just moving through this position, still warming up, still getting our bearings. Three, two, nice proud chest. One, good, let it go, eyes on me. Next up, remember that good morning? Yes, we're using her right now. I don't know why she's a her, but she's a her in this moment. Good, so from here, my hand's gonna be on my hip so I can feel that hinge position and my right hand is gonna come towards my left toes. Looks like this. I come back and I stand, like so. Join me if you haven't already. I'm plugging my shoulder into my back. Ooh, I almost fell, good. If you almost fall, that's fine. This workout is called stability and coordination. There's gonna be some wobbling. There might be some falling. It's a safe space. We're gonna be in it together. Good. And I will surely wobble and fall. Nice, let it go. Same thing, other side. I'm just showing you different angles. You can orient yourself in one way. All right, so inhale, you come down. 
Exhale, you come up. Remember that note I gave you about your big toe. Nice. So we have barely any weight on that back foot because as you can probably imagine, we're making our way towards being able to balance fully. So we have to build up that strength and stability in the body. Ooh, don't fall over like me. All the talking and doing gets a little dodge for me sometimes. Three, two, one, good, let that go. Now, single leg pogo hop. You have the option to stay in place or go side to side. It'll only be 15 seconds. Join me when you're ready. Three, two, one, go for it. Nice. My braids are dancing. Makes me kind of happy. I feel like a little kid. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Let it go. Shake it out. I know it felt delicious. Other side. Here we go. Three, two, one. You got it. Side to side or just stay straight up and down if that side to side is too intense. Good. Keep it going. Keep it going. Waking up that lower leg and time. All right, now we know what's going on. We're gonna do all that one more time. We'll start with that squat to toes, and then when we get to that touchdown squat, we're gonna make our way into being able to fully balance. We'll get there when we get there though, okay? Squat to toes, here we go. Three, two, one. Drop it down and up. Maybe there's a little more speed, because there's certainly a lot more confidence, right? You know what it is. Not too many surprises left, right? <laughs> Hopefully. All right, 15 seconds, good. Really squeeze your butt at the top. Something that I often catch myself doing, and I see us all do sometimes, is we kind of come to this like in-between position. Really get your pelvis under you. So maybe that means you have to come back to being flat on your feet, just so you can kind of get the position. Three, two, one, let it go. All right, we're back to that touchdown squat. Now, we're gonna let that foot hover completely. Okay, so you have to slow it down, okay? Three, two, one, let's go. That back foot is hovering. You come towards the floor. Control, control, control. What did I say before? That big toe mound. So every time you see me fall over, it's because I'm so busy to yappity yap and I forget my own big toe. Good. Three, two, one. Other side, same thing, no rest, just go for it. Good. And if it was helping you to hold on to your pelvis, keep holding on to your pelvis. Good. Enjoy the wiggle and the wobble. We are literally doing that for this reason. Building strength, starting to become more aware of the asymmetries in the body, and starting to work through them. So we don't have to just be stuck with them. Three, two, one. Back to those pogos, but this time the option is to come front and back. You decide or stay right under yourself. Go for it. Front and back. Breathe, have fun. We're all in it together. We decided to fitness. Yes, and let it go. Other side, same thing. Front and back, front and back. If it's going well, maybe we pick up the pace. Kind of feels like a dance. What's that dance? It's like SpongeBob or something. Three, two, time. Good, let that go. All right, come back from this fake jump rope recovery. I'm gonna tell you what's happening next. Okay, now we're gonna really start to work on compound movements. They require a lot of stability and coordination and that's what we're building. Okay, so we're gonna start with a lateral lunge. Lateral lunge, we did this in the beginning with our warm up. Little toe tap. Lateral lunge, little toe tap. Note. When I'm at the bottom of my lunge, this leg is straight. It starts to see a little in between. So we'll work on that together. Join me. Three, two, one. Big step and reset. If a big step is too much, go ahead and narrow that stance a little bit so you can make sense of it for your body. We're not here to impress anybody. We're here to really get better, to build our strong foundations so that whatever it is we need to do in the world, we can go do and not have no problems, right? Good, if it's going well, kind of check. Check your balance, because you know we're building towards that. Three, two, one. All right, same thing, other side. Fix yourself on your mat, here we go. Maybe you're taking a giant step, maybe you're taking a smaller step. Whatever you've decided though, you're really still hinging. And if you're not sure if you're hinging, put your hand on your pelvis to check. Little hand sandwich, are you squishing your own hand on your thigh, or is it more out here? Just check and then continue with the flow of the exercise. You come down, 
you reset. Good. Big inhale. Exhale as you stand. Big inhale down. Drive down as you stand up. Good. Three, two, and one. Okay, now we have a nice variation on high knees. Bring your knee into your chest. Level one, you march, march, like so. Level two, it's a little mini jump. Ha ha, I always like a little drama. Ha ha, okay, we'll do that on one side, then we'll do the other side. Here we go, 30 seconds, three, two, one, go. Switch, 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 switch. Good, keep it going, keep it going. I'm changing orientation so you can see more of my body. Keep it going, keep it going, 10 seconds. Good, nice powerful arms. Make sure you have opposite arm as legs. Good, and remember it's totally fine if you need to march, right? If that jump is too much, march it out. Time, okay, take a second, breathe. We're going to the other side, okay, here we go. Take a moment, now I have my left knee in my chest, I'm trying not to fall over, my right arm is up, and I'm feeling really athletic, core is engaged, I'm on top of my body, go for it. Yes, switch, switch. Feel that big toe mound. Yeah, switch, switch. Keep it going. Oh, so good. Yes. I feel my core working. My hip flexor too. Three, Ooh, don't fall. <laughs> Two, one. <laughs> I went to look at the clock and almost lost my mind. Okay. We're gonna do all that again, but you might have known, you might have predicted, we're putting all that together. Lateral lunge, step it in, march, march. Lateral lunge, step it in, march, march, or big lunge to a balance, jump, jump. Okay, you decide what's right for your body, let's go for it. Out, in, ha, ha. Out, in, ha, ha. Good. Whether you're doing those high knees or that march, you're really making sense of the motion for yourself. So really hit that lateral lunge, really find that balance, and then switch, switch, stick the landing. Gorgeous. All right, other side. Starting in three, two, one. Let's do it. Big step out, come in, march, march. Big step out, come in, March, march, good. And remember, if you're going for that high knees, let's see some power. I was being silly and adding sound, but it's just to show you that you wanna feel powerful and aggressive. Slicing through the air. Ha, ha. Out, in, ha, ha. Good, three. Ha, ha, and last one. Ha, ha, good. That was awesome. That's a compound movement. You just put that together, that's coordination. That's tough stuff. We're gonna do it again, and then we'll move on. Here we go, people, starting with the other side. Three, two, one, let's go. Out, balance, ha, ha, good. Now that you're feeling a little more confident, maybe slightly more range of motion. So if you were taking kind of a smaller step, maybe see if you can take a wider step while still maintaining your gorgeous form. If everything's going great, maybe a hint faster, just a hint, but still really find your balance every time. And time. Take a beat. Other side right away. Here we go. Out, in, ha, ha. Out, in, ha, ha. Good. So good. Keep it going, breathe. It's the last thing we're doing and then we cool it down. So don't cheat, don't take a break, don't stop, trust yourself, and have some fun. It's just fitness. Three, two, one, yes, okay. We did that, a little quick cool down motion, and then we're out of here. All right, arms up, touchdown squat. You know I love this drill if you've done my classes before. Roll it down, grab your feet, drop your pelvis, a little shimmy side to side, open your chest, stand it up, again. Roll it down, drop your pelvis, shift side to side, and come up. Time for one more, stability and coordination, 
in the bag. I know it's tricky, sometimes we fall, but we fall together, we have each other, and stand up. Really great work. I know there were some new movements for some of us. Continue to go over it, because it's not ever about perfection. It's about how can I build my tool belt full of everything I need so that whatever it is that comes up in life, if it's picking something up, if it's going on my first hike, whatever it is I wanna do, I can hopefully do that for my entire life and not ever feel limited or restricted in any way. So. Enough of my talking, you know, I'm really passionate. I really have so much to say all the time. I'm so excited we got to sweat it out together. Again, Tara Nicholas, subscribe to Well and Good if you haven't already. There's so much good stuff, love them. And I'll see you soon. Tara Nicholas out.